follows the oh. phenom Jordan Speeds coming up just short in his quest for three straight majors, but that was just one of several compelling storylines today at the Open. Welcome to America's Pregame. I'm Mike Hill. And I'm Molly McGrath, and we have so much to get to on today's. And two weeks ago, the U.S. women's soccer team became the first to have a ticker tape parade in New York. Today, another historic first for one of the team's biggest stars. The full story coming up on America's Pregame. football the spotlight is on the ACC for all the wrong reasons after their three-time defending champion Florida State Seminoles endured two high-profile cases involving domestic violence this summer but league commissioner John Swafford wants the ACC to have a hands-off approach involving off-field issues saying that there are no plans for the league to take a more active role over to some college football news last season TCU and Baylor shared the title as Big 12 co-champions which many believe hurt their chances of making college football's new four-team playoff. ...where Kyle Busch continues his comeback from a broken left foot and a compound fracture in his right leg sustained in a February crash at Daytona. Bush missed 11 races with those injuries, but is still in contention for the chase, earning his third victory in his last four races at New Hampshire Motor Speedway this Sunday. Coach Jimbo Fisher speaking out today about the situation at Florida State. Did he raise even more concerns? Welcome to America's pregame. I'm Peter Schrager. And I'm Molly McGrath. Our college Major League Baseball's July 31st trade deadline is soon approaching as ball clubs looking ahead to the postseason prepare by stocking up on talent. While those with losing records may wave the white flag early and trade away their assets. But who's buying and who's selling? Our Ken Rosenthal weighs in on baseball's trade market. Okay, man. <laughs> Over to some NBA news where Becky Hammond made history as the first female head coach in the NBA Summer League. But she didn't stop there, leading the Spurs to the Las Vegas Summer League Championship. Now, after losing the opener to the Knicks, San Antonio reeled off six straight wins, eventually beating the Suns 93-90 to in the title game. 